Hey everybody and welcome. It's Dr. Karen here and I am super excited to have you in the Social Language Roadmap. You've made a fantastic decision investing in this program and I can't wait to walk you through the entire framework that will set your students up for success in social situations, both in academic and just general social situations throughout their life. So what I'm going to do now is walk you through the dashboard and show you where everything is. So if you go to the top here, you'll notice that there is a start, start course button. What that will do is start you in the first video right here, and you'll just be able to see a little side menu where you'll be able to navigate through to the next video. But what I'm going to do is walk you through all of these different categories and show you what's in them. So these first three right here, course overview, three components of social interaction, and social pragmatic intervention planning, were the original modules in the course that I originally recorded live with a live audience. So what you'll be able to do is see the entire recording of that three hour presentation. I've broken it up into edited videos so that there are defined stopping points so it's a little bit easier to consume. But what you can do is just simply start with the course overview to learn the overview of the framework go into those three pillars of social interaction that help us to understand what students need to succeed socially, and then get into things like how to use the six areas of social impairment to figure out where your students are struggling, and then use that to write goals and pick appropriate interventions. So that was the original starting point. So what you're gonna wanna do as you go through this course is just start with the course overview and go in order. So you'll find that below each of the videos, there are sometimes going to be some handouts and downloads. So all of your handouts for the, the first three modules right here, you can find just the one handout in the introduction section. So when I clicked on course overview, you were taken to the, the all of the videos in that category. So for this one, there's just one. So you're gonna click here. And then you're going to see the video. And then you can see that there is a handout below here. So this is going to cover you for the first three modules through social pragmatic intervention planning. So you can see that there's just one video. And then you've got an option to move on to the next category, which is the um, three pillars of social interaction. So you can use this menu up here to navigate, or you can just use these right here. So right now I'm on the first video. You can see there's no downloads below this because the handout was in the first course overview video, but you can also navigate through the different videos here. And then when you're done with that, you can either click next category to go to the next one, or you can go out to the main category page here and click right here. And as you can see, We've got all the different videos within that category, and then you can see those posts right there. But I wanted to highlight this section right here because what I've done, the original three hours of the presentation was in these first three modules, and I added the advanced intervention tutorials based on member feedback. So what this is, is an additional three and a half hours of training that dives deep into intervention planning. So I show you exactly how to do some of the specific evidence-based interventions that I mentioned in the original presentation. So there are some additional handouts once you get to this section, and there are two places that you can download them. You can either go to the materials library right here, which doesn't have any videos, but has a bunch of different downloads that are going to be your tools for using all of these strategies that I talk about in the intervention tutorials. So I'll show you both of the places that you can get the materials right now. So if you click on the materials library and you want to download all of them right before you watch the videos, you can actually go into the different categories here. So for example, if I click on data collection and behavior tracking, there's no video up here but you'll get a description of what the downloads are and then you'll be able to download them here in the download section on the right. And then you can navigate through this category just like you can the ones with the videos. I'm gonna go out to the main categories right now and go into the intervention tutorials to show you additional 
an additional place where you can find those handouts and also find the videos. So you can see all the videos here. There's actually two pages that you need to scroll through, and these are your intervention tutorials. So you can go through each video one by one, navigate over here, and if there is a handout that goes with the video, then you'll be able to find it in the download section right here. So mostly what you'll find is a description and any of the references that have to do with what I mentioned in the video. But you can also navigate through here. If there's no downloads, you know that there isn't a download that you need for that video. Um, but here's an example. So you can also find the downloads from the materials library below the relevant video. So these are, you can figure out which ones you need for each video based on what's in the downloads over here. So this is another place that you can go to get them. So you can either go to the materials library and go to the overview video and download everything right away and put it in a binder and then just grab it when you're ready to go through the videos or you can simply just go through the video, check the download section and see what you need for that video. One last thing I wanted to draw your attention to are the the Facebook group links. So there is a Facebook group called the Language Therapy Insiders Club that you get complimentary access to for support with this program. So you can either find that here under Facebook group information or use this link here. It'll take you right to the group. And then under course wrap up is where you can print out your CMH certificate. If you have been in the course or for a while and you were in that original section, you actually should go back to the course wrap up section because if you took the original course, it was only worth three CMHs. If you go through this brand new intervention planning section, there's actually an additional 3.5 hours of training. So if you do that, you're gonna wanna go here and download the new CMH certificate. If you're going through the course for the first time, just go through the course and then go here. So once you go into this section, you'll find your CMH certificate. This is what you can use for tracking for continuing education hours. CMHs are a little bit different than CEUs, so that means that these hours won't link up to your ASHA registry, but you can use the CMH certificate for your hours for tracking in case you're ever audited. So obviously state licensure requirements may vary with regards to the types of hours they will accept, but I know that ASHA will accept CMHs for your hours. So you'll be able to use this for ASHA. So that wraps up the entire orientation to the course. I'm super excited to have you. What you can do right now is make sure that you are a member of the Facebook group and then your second step would be to start going through the course, starting with the course overview section. So your best place to go for support if you have questions along the way would be to either watch the video and leave a comment below the video right here in the comment section, or you can make a comment in the Facebook group and ask me a question there. Those are the ways that you will get a response from me the the quickest. So thank you so much for joining and I am so excited to have you.